Hi. Okay. I I have swimming class today. Um. So I'm getting ready for that. I've already picked my outfit and stuff, and I'm just gonna go get ready for that. It's at one. I think now it's eleven thirty. But I take um about two decades to get ready. Oh god, why does it smell so bad? Oh, did open the window. Okay, it smells like wet dog. I don't know why. I don't have a dog, but <laughs> um. So I'm gonna get ready for that. And then I think I'll come home and do some work. Maybe, possibly. No, no. I didn't take my medication. That's why today's been so weird. Oh my god. I'm so dumb, y'all. I've been sitting in my bed for the past, I don't know, like two hours. Wondering why I cannot get up and do anything. Why my mind keeps wondering. All of these fun things that come with having ADHD. It's like, oh. Your dumbass forgot to take a meds. You're so smart. Oh my god. All right. So, oh yeah, I cut my hair. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even show you guys. This is what it looks like. It's kind of giving on the first day because it was straight. It was very much giving Dora, but now it's giving. I like it. I think it's giving. Okay, yesterday was giving Emma Myers, but I'm trying to figure out what is happening today because, as you probably know, my hair has a mind of its own. I cannot get it to do shit. So. I like it. I really like it. It's really nice. I love it. Um, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready for that. And then while I, when I finish showering and put on my clothes and shit, we can have a lovely conversation while that happens. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay, let's put it here. Right. Okay, so this is the fit. I'll show you some better pictures soon. But pants are from Cotton On. Oh, it's from H&M. This is from H&M. And the shirt underneath is from H&M. They don't come together. Um, yeah, so. This is it. I don't exactly know how I feel about it. But I'm wearing it, so it's gonna have to do. Alright. So, landscape programming. So, Heartstopper Season 2 came out today. And I only watched the first episode, alright? And, ah, I know it's so much already. Ah! Okay, so, let's, let's, let's get into this while I do So I only watched the first episode, but I just I'm in love with it. I can't. Okay, so when Hot Supper season one came out, I saw a lot of people um saying that oh it's like so cringy and that the show just like isn't even good. When for me as a person who before the show, like long before the show, read all the comics, all the books, all the comics, all the books, the show was like poetry to me. That put Shakespeare to fucking shame. I loved it so much. Oh, this is this is a fun look, yeah. It's not gonna make fun. I'm not gonna be made fun of. No. Anyway, oh my god, under eye circles. I, uh, <laughs> it was amazing. I loved it so much. I rewatched it like maybe seven times. <laughs> I love it. 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 Um. So now that season two came out, I was so excited for it. Um, and I only watched the first episode because I only had time to watch the first episode. Pure loveliness. I love it. Okay, so um, if you haven't watched um, the se season two yet, um, this is going to be major spoils, so skip part, skip part this part, skip this part. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's do the breakdown. First, um, when Nick and Imogen's friendship in this season, what it's panning out to be, is so cute! Like, I love, it's so amazing. And um, the scene where uh, she shows Nick uh, Brooklyn her new dog, and I love that so much because she, Nick was probably one of the first people she told um, that her old dog had passed. And I swear, uh, <laughs> it was so cute. I squealed. I literally squealed. And then when Nick wanted to tell Imogen, like after his mom, um, he, I don't think he told anyone else in school other than Tyler's friends, but out of his, like, friends, him wanting to tell Imogen first that him and Charlie are a thing, that's just so, so cute. And then when it came time for Nick to, like, tell her, she goes, uh, he goes, um, I have something to tell you. And she goes, is it about Charlie? It's kind of obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Literally... <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of obvious. They are so completely obvious, but it's so cute that they're so oblivious to being obvious. <laughs> this scene made me laugh. 
And then when she was just like, when she just like hugged him and was like, I don't really know how to react. He was like, this is good. <laughs> wow, imagine having friends. I really can't relate. <laughs> and then um, Nick was like, yo, uh, you have to tell me who your crush is. And she goes, oh, Ben. <laughs> Why? Why does that asshole keep coming back? Look. I have a very long list of fictional characters I hate. And Ben Hope is at the top of it. Actually, no. Ben Hope isn't at the top. First is Max Hastings. Damn it, no. Max Hastings, Jason Bell, Ben Hope, then Harry, whatever the fuck his surname is. Okay? And honestly, it's like... Oh, Ben! Get well soon, Imogen. Get well soon. I mean, nice for you, but that could not be me. Also, this, this um... Lighting is very flattering right now. Yeah, definitely. Mm. That sucked. And then, oh my god. Elle, like, flirting with Tayo in the first episode. Girls got riz. I'll give her that. Like, honestly, that, perfect. It was perfect. And Tayo just ended up being confused most of the time. But she has riz. Honestly. And then, at the end of the episode, they kind of ended on, like, a sour note. They, um... With Tayo, with her trying to kiss Tayo and Tayo backing away like a freaking weirdo. He's in extreme denial, okay? He is in extreme denial. He is in extreme denial, which I mean, relatable, been there. But mm, I just, I need to see how the relation flourishes through, the relationship flourishes through the season, especially. Sorry. In the book, it happened around the time, I mean, I think in the comics, it happened around Paris trip, I think, so I'm very excited for that. Season one is very, like, light-hearted, um, no, light-hearted to a point. Light-hearted to a point, but I know season two is just gonna break me with the Paris trip and Charlie's eating disorder and all the things that comes with Nick coming out and Jane. Jane Spring. I hate her, okay? <laughs> um, she's, I hate her. I hate her so much. I hate her. She's very close up on my list of fictional characters I hate. She ruins everything. The episode mostly ends on Charlie telling his parents that um, he is dating Nick. And I don't think, does Jane say anything? I watched it like two seconds ago. I don't really think that Jane says a lot, but Charlie's dad mostly acknowledges it. And it's like, okay, no speakovers. And the hanky panky joke came through in the show. Oh my god, the hanky panky joke. That was great. <laughs> um, but I don't think Jane said anything except she kind of mumbled something towards the end. Um, she was like, "No," and then I kind of did this towards the end. I think that was her. But I really, really, really hope that um she has a bit of a redemption arc in the show because she does not want to have one in the comics. She does not have one in any of the books. Every single book, she's just <laughs> sorry. Oh my god, what was that? Okay, that was a sneeze. I'm so sorry. Because in every single one of the books, every single one of the comics, she just sucks. So, I would love to see the way they take her character in the show. If they just stick to it, her being just an absolute terrible person. Or if they give her like a redemption arc or something. So I'm really excited to see everyone get back into their heart supper era. Because personally, I never left mine. Those leaves are crumpled, but they are still there. <laughs> But it was genuinely such a good, great time um, when season one came out. I'm really excited to see that for season two. Um, yeah, this is great. Look, I'm never going to shut up about Heartstopper. Even before the show came out, I was such a huge fan of the books. And everyone around me suffered for it. When season one came out, I was such a huge fan. Everyone around me suffered for it. Now that season two is out, I'm going to be ten times more annoying. So y'all are screwed, actually. Um but <laughs> so i'm very very excited to see how season two wraps out and i will be giving you all my opinions on it because i am a hot supper girl till the day i die okay so this is the end result um these are the shoes oh, let me show you my shoes let me show you my shoes these shoes are the ones i'm wearing they are from ted baker and they have red details even though my outfit doesn't have red details but it's fine it's fine it's fine whatever this is the full outfit i have my hair in like a half a puff down kind of thing 
And yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna be here. Wait, I'm gonna use my swimming clothes. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, so it is the next day. I just had a lesson from like eight to nine, and now I'm packing um, because I was just alerted yesterday that we are going to Cape Town for I think business. Actually, I think my parents are going for business, but I'm being dragged along because of course I am. So um, <laughs> while I'm packing, I thought I would go through just end of hearts of the season two and stuff like that since i started with episode one so season two was immaculate um the imogen ally jokes that kind of uh um that was in season one made a comeback in season two and it was great also the last two episodes where um um darcy had to again major spoilers uh that darcy had to like kind of sneak out and go sleep in the park. I cried, I actually cried, that was so sad. And Tara thought she just stood her up and mm, I just, I can't, Can, I, need, I need I need, my children to just be like happy, just for like one season. Okay, they were happy in the first season, ish. <laughs> oh gosh, I really wanna see how everything plays out in season three, I'm very excited. Um, yeah. I mean, the show is, it's great. It lives up to all my, um, all my, uh, expectations. It's, it's fantastic. Ow! God, I dropped a bell to my foot. Ugh. It lived up to all my expectations and I literally could be, not be happier with the show. It's, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. And, um, yeah, I think that's, that's all that I have to say. I remember what I did last night, I kind of ditched you guys. Um, I was, I spoke, I watched House of Season 2, then I spoke with my cousin, and she's like my favorite person in the world. So I got a little bit lost track of time, but, but now, um, <sighs> okay, do you guys know when you have like a pimple coming in, and it's like under your skin at this point, but whenever you touch the place where the pimple's gonna come, it hurts like hell? Right, so pimple is gonna be right here, and it's gonna be massive, because it hurts like hell. And I'm really looking forward to that and thanking the fact that I have bangs. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna finish packing and then I will update you. We're leaving at four and it's I think 9 a.m. right now. So I've got a lot of time. <sighs> right, let's get to it. I'll update you guys, I love you. <laughs> Just after that parking situation, guys. <laughs> she left the door open and yelled at everyone else because they thought she thought they left their door open. Huh? No, no one gets to hear me except you. So I will be telling everybody. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Mother, father, I have tea. Mine. Yeah, you take a picture. I took a picture. Okay, thank you. Every time we come to Cape Town, it's always Korean food. Always. <laughs> I didn't even like film the food properly. I was so excited to eat it. I didn't even like film the food properly. I was so excited to eat it. <laughs> it was good, by the way. Absolutely bad. How do you feel about 
about it. Oh, oh my god. Yep, yeah, you forgot. But... See, I think, I, think, I think Brock is enjoying uh, it. Brock is enjoying yeah. it. Yo. <laughs> I'm not sure how you guys see me first. Expect the love of my life. Expect. I want to start working now. I have one now. He's so freaky, man. <laughs> what did you give me here? I told you this is Jungkook. I wasn't prepared. I don't know why I wasn't prepared, but I wasn't prepared. Let's see if the Kendall Jenner post goes to this Kendall Jenner post, though. Oh, I love Kendall Jenner, too. Oh, yeah, this Kendall Jenner. Oh, Kendall Jenner. The best day of my life. We can go keep looking at it. No, let's go get Starbucks. You said you want to get it, right? Oh, I'm gonna get some bomb, the CK. Oh, I'm gonna get some bomb, the CK.